Hi everyone, Rayo from Instantly here, and I wanted to make this video to talk about some of the custom variables you can use in Instantly to level up your cold email game and also get better results. So let's jump right into it. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is using your sending account names as variables. So let's say you have a campaign that uses many different sending accounts and they're also using different names. So let's say you have some email accounts for John, some for Rob and so on. And now you wanna make sure that whenever you're mentioning your sending account name or just your name in general, uh, that it matches the sending account as well. So in this case, you can use either sending account name or sending account first name, depending on if you wanna use both the first name and last name or just the first name. So as the example shows here, um, kind regards, sending account name. And this way you'll make sure that anytime you add any accounts into the campaigns, the signature will always look right and match the sending account as well. So I'll put all of these variables that I'll be talking about into the description as well. So you can just copy them in and you don't have to like retype them all. But yeah, let's move forward. So the next one is a bit more advanced. But essentially, all this one does is it will say good morning, first name, if it's morning for them, good afternoon, first name, if it's afternoon, and the same for evening. So again, I'll put it in the description. You can copy it in. But basically, what this does is it will make your cold emails more relevant and seem less automated because you're actually uh, wishing them a good morning if it's morning for them. And this way, yeah, it just feels less automated, feels more personal. And uh, this way you'll get more responses from people. So the next one is kind of similar. Again, you can just copy this one in and what this will be, um, this will just turn into the current weekday. So let's say Monday, if it's Monday, Tuesday, if it's Tuesday. And you can kind of combine the two previous variables that we just talked about. So again, this first section is the first one we talked about. And then you say, I hope you're having a nice, and then you add the second one. Uh, second variable that we just talked about. And what this will turn into is good morning, first name. I hope you're having a nice Monday if it's Monday morning for them. And again, kind of the same point, it makes it feel more personal, more relevant, and uh, it will be dynamic as well, right? So for every single campaign, you can use this. If the campaign is in a different time zone, it will work accordingly. And uh, yeah. And the final one I wanted to talk about again is kind of using uh, weekdays to your advantage. So what this will do is it will say, are you available anytime this week if it's between Monday and Wednesday? And it will say, are you available anytime next week if it's between Wednesday and Sunday? So uh, again, what I wanted to highlight here is the text parts in the custom variable itself. So let's say in this case, it says, are you available anytime this week? And are you available anytime next week? but these texts are completely changeable. So let's say if you wanna say something different based on these times, let's say you wanna say something else on Monday and Wednesday and something else on Wednesday and Sunday, uh, you can change these texts. So it doesn't have to be this one, uh, but that's just one use case. So let's say if uh, you're planning to meet with someone, it makes more sense to ask for this week if it's early in the week, because there's more time and it makes more sense to ask for next week if it's later in the week. Um, but yeah, those are basically the advantages of uh, using variables. You can be more relevant, you can feel more personal, and this way you'll just see more replies coming in and more people being interested in what you're offering. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much it. And uh, yeah, as I said, I'll include all these variables in the description so you can just copy them in. And hopefully this was useful. And thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.